Hello Pisces, welcome back to Intuitive Energies. Yeah, this morning's reading, this is the extended. If you haven't seen it, please go ahead and do that. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay. Wow, look at that. How appropriate. Look at these, look. Interesting, huh? The imagery is important here, okay? Dark light, dark light. Harmony, disharmony. Harmony, disharmony. Healthy, unhealthy. Healthy, unhealthy. Okay, I'm gonna leave these here right now, and I'm just going to, uh, I'm just gonna let you. Okay, I got a massive download. I'm gonna just go into it, guys, because I, I'm gonna lose my train of thought here. So I can't do the normal intro. You're just gonna have to look at this morning's videos if you want to, to know anything else. With, uh, uh, new energies and new things that are coming in for me for your readings okay it's um it's something that spirit has been asking me to take on more so i'm taking on more okay i'm sharing it with you because that's the whole point to all of these okay so from the last reading to this reading uh i got a massive download and it has to do with your heart okay we're talking about opening up your heart um the thing with opening up your heart is it leaves you a little bit more vulnerable, okay? So the reason I know this is because the energy shifted after the last reading and then music started coming in, okay? Uh, the first song, and it had it was two songs about rain, which is the weirdest thing, but uh, one is listen to the rhythm of the falling rain. And it, it's a love song about, you know, being gypped and hurt and being fooled. And for some of you, you're going to probably relate to that. And that's okay, but that's not really the point. That's not, that's not the whole point of the song that they wanted me to convey to you. Okay? They wanted me to convey to you um, the difference between the light and the dark. I, as soon as these cards come out, I understood right away. Okay? Um... When you're in the rain, things seem bleak, such as this. It's a darkness, okay, the dark cloud. Things seem, you're still in the same state, okay? If you look at these cards right here, the same two people are there, but one is an, you, you're thinking to yourself, well, one's a devil, one's an angel, but you're wrong. In the Bible, who was Satan? Just, just out of curiosity, right? He's a fallen angel, okay? They're both angels, okay? They just look different. They both have wings. They're both angels, okay? So this is so intense. This is so intense of their part, okay? They came in. As soon as these cards came out, everything came out. It's amazing when they do that, guys. I, I wish it for you, okay? Because it's moments that can really uplift you and feeling like you've gotten so much great i'm so grateful for the information they sent so here we go this is rhythm of the falling rain the rain i can see clearly now the rain is gone listen to the rhythm of the falling rain this is the difference listen to the rhythm of the falling rain my heart's breaking my heart's breaking everything's bad i can see clearly now the rain is gone <gasps> the clear the rain cleared out the sun came out and everything looks better this is about perception you guys Okay. The other thing that I saw was uh, I was typing in your names for the giveaway. And I kept typing in your names to put in the draw because I keep a list. And I was typing in and I kept missing the last letter of all your names. And I knew after the sixth or seventh that it wasn't just me, that there was something uh, very important about that. And what was important about that is that I was almost done putting in or doing things correctly and just at the last moment I was dropping out so very much the nine of wands okay the nine of wands is the card of you're almost there and you're but you're so tired and fed up that you're about to give up but you're almost there if you just hung on a little more and typed in that last letter you'd be done and it would be complete so this is another message from them just complete okay just keep going everything is okay and it's momentary okay it's all about perception they're both angels they're just two different two different views of it 
Okay, one is light-hearted and good, and in the light, and the other one's a little bit darker. Okay, and you're feeling maybe not as great. You know, you had horns growing and chains and stuff. You feel a little bogged down, but it's the same. It's the same. You're just looking at it. You're viewing at it. You're viewing it from a different lens, just like the songs, Rhythm of the Falling Rain, where everything is painful and your heart is breaking. And then I can see clearly now the rain is gone, the rain disappeared, and things look better, okay? So this is, I guess it's an equivalent of Spirit saying, you're having a bad moment. It's going to pass, okay? Wow, all of that to say that, but maybe worth it for some of you. Maybe it's the biggest message here is like, don't sweat it. Everything will get better. Everything will be okay. It's a momentary thing, okay? You can pick up the pieces. Don't be so hard on yourself, okay? If you need to cry, cry. Look, the Ten of Cups is underneath here. And the Ace of Wands, okay? So just, ah, like that. Okay, sometimes things are going to look messy and crappy, but look at that. It's back in one piece again. Don't worry about it, okay? Ride, ride the storm. There's another one. Ride the storm. You're good, okay? Wow. Okay, so that's been shuffled. Let's take some oracle cards now. Here, let's help you out. All right, Spirit, you're on. Thank you so much for all those downloads. <laughs> they needed you to, they needed me to tell you that. So, so what are you feeling? Are you in a rhythm, uh, rhythm of the falling, listening to the rhythm of the falling rain, feeling bad? Or can you see clearly now because the rain is gone? Okay. You get to pick. Which one do you want to be? Okay. Right, great big love and a powerful move. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, we're talking about the heart again. Uh, Rhythm of the Falling Rain, when I was looking at the, the lyrics, the thing that was getting to me was the heart. I could see the heart a lot, okay? Right. And again, if you look at these cards, there's synchronicities. This is a chess piece flying probably in the right direction. And this is your heart taking flight as well, okay? So these are popping out to me right away. There's also a key, okay? Mm. What am I getting from this? I'm, I'm not going to, I'm actually, the images are more important. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, okay. Wow, did you guys see that? Okay, so maybe I don't need this deck. I need this deck. Thank you, Mother. Okay, so the first card that I saw was Seven of Acorns. Determination and Stamina, which is the, uh, the challenges, okay? So we're going to do that, and I'm going to take this one. The Shaman card, okay, which is Divine Wisdom and Spiritual Power. Nice. Right. Okay. Wow. Okay, so let's go with those. Let's go with those. Okay, so again, the determination makes me feel, I know it's the seven of acorns, but what I'm getting intuitively is, again, the nine of wands. Determination, perseverance. Okay? You're working on your heart chakra, 26, number eight. We've had eight come up. A lot of good work not just assessment work a lot of like really uh good good work on this one yeah yeah i'm getting a lot of that that's stamina yeah it may be that you feel like you're losing a bit of stamina because of that okay Yeah, you're going through some profound changes, I'm feeling, with a great big love. I think by opening up your heart chakra here, that's what it's done, okay? It may be just something that you have, you're trying to adapt to. Some of us have not probably, you know, we 
our, our hearts have been open, but maybe not as much as they have been. We've been doing a lot of work through all the chakras. Well, the heart chakra is one too as well, right? And when the other chakras are not in line, as you're working your way up, you're going to hit the heart chakra where things have to loosen up a little bit, okay? And you got to open up your heart a little bit more, and some of us do. Um, as Pisces, we usually have big hearts. We usually get hurt really easy. Um, but the thing is, is that at this point, some of us, we've closed down a lot. But I feel that things are trying to take flight, okay? But if you look at it, this card is in blue. Is in, okay, it may be like the, uh, the universe, but I see kind of like a cloud here in the background. Uh, what it's telling me is, again, it's talking about the rain, okay? I feel it's a fallout from opening your heart chakra, to tell you the truth. I feel that when you open that up, um, you may be available to feel great big love, but you're also feeling... Um, you're also feeling the pain that the heart can experience, okay? Maybe it's because you're working on forgiveness of somebody or working on just letting go of pain from somebody, but this is what I'm feeling. They're saying it's a very powerful move. It is the key to something, okay? It is a chess piece. You have done something really great. And the shaman card coming out, the divine wisdom and spiritual power, this is going to unlock you. This is really going to put you in a powerful position, okay? And the reason I say to 1 plus 5 is 6, 3, 6, 9. Very powerful numbers for me, okay? And again with the wings, okay? You see the wings here? Right. This is a powerful move. They say maybe a difficult move, okay? So absolutely, whatever you did, I'm sending it out there, okay? Because to me, the only thing I'm getting is that by opening your heart, you let in the pain, which is kind of a weird thing to say, but it's almost like you left yourself a little bit vulnerable of feeling those emotions again. There was a flood that came in, and with it, some of the stuff that maybe you put away that didn't really you didn't deal with, so, it's like an adjustment period. I feel like it's an adjustment period where you went from the image of the, of the lover's card to the devil card. This is, this is setting you, you're on the same level, but your, per, your perception now, because you opened something up, you shook it loose, it, 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 um, it completely um, just unbalanced you. Okay, that's it. So, yeah. This one. No, I need a chakra card. Okay, chakra. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see. Let's see what we can get here. I'm going to take one and I'm going to pull some tarot. Okay, let's see what we can get. I know it was a long reading this morning, but apparently it's a, it's a it's an important one for you guys. It's it's going to help you through your hump from the end of this week into next week. Wow, it's uh yeah. There's heart openings, and it's causing. <laughs> I they're showing me you know when you're trying to declutter your house, which is something I understand. Sometimes you think oh it's going to feel so good when I do it, but before it gets better, it gets so much worse, right? You pull everything out of a closet and then you have a mess everywhere in the room and you're thinking to yourself, oh, why did I do this, okay? This is what you're feeling. Why did I open myself back up through the heart? This doesn't feel good, but it will. It will. This is a good move for you, okay? They're saying that you're just going to have to adjust. You're just going to have to adjust. Everything's okay. You're going to go from rhythm of the falling rain to I can see clearly now, now okay? So don't worry. Don't, don't worry. It's not permanent. It's just a little bit of a snag, okay? Ah, uh, inner child, okay? And, of course, it's green. It's for the heart chakra. Big surprise. Big surprise. Oh, great. They're going to give me some good information on this. Hold on. Hold on. Let's see. 
let's see here, Pisces. Let's see how I can help you out here. I can help you out with this. Oh, and it felt that's it just just right there. Okay. It's time to create a more fulfilling, loving relationship with your inner child. Oh, love and a heart. Here we go. Okay. Those parts of us that can be vulnerable, misunderstood, and loved, not heard, and those wounded feelings we hold do onto as children. Here we go. We're getting into it now, you guys. Uh, when we take these experiences into our adult life, our connection to the inner child is sometimes forgotten. Have you been heal beating yourself up lately and been down on yourself and allowed people and situation in your life to affect you negatively? Pulling this card today highlights that you are currently reacting to a situation from the perspective of the inner child. Wow, this is profound. Okay. All wounds may be opened and you may feel trapped and confused. Know that it's time to give your inner child some love and care. Take some time to tune into this wounded being who lies within you. Ask what he or she requires in order to heal. You may feel drawn to go and see a healer or to simply take your quiet time to engage in an inner dialogue with a part of you. Whatever is required, know that it's a powerful time of healing and breaking free from these old restraints. It's time to set your inner child free and allow this aspect of you to feel safe, loved, and heard. It is time to be fully engaged and present with your inner child to allow deep connection and healing. Love, love, love is the key. It is also very important to allow the inner child out to play. Life can become so serious and we forget to play, create, joy, and have fun. Like I said this morning, I go back to nostalgia when I was a child. I go back to watching commercials from the 80s because I feel like I'm go back there, right? That's what I was talking about. For me, that's it, okay? Um, sometimes you need a break from the intense emotion of the heart, okay? When was the last time you played and felt like a kid? What does your inner child want to do? Go play on a swing, dance, paint, go to the beach. It's time to let your inner child express himself or herself with play and joy. My inner child is free to express love and joy. That's the affirmation. My inner child is free to express love and joy. And one plus seven is what? Eight. This is really good work, you guys. It's not just assessing. This is hard work, okay? You're really going to the hard work and this this is divine. This this reading right here, divine. I've been getting downloads all day. Of course, they had to pick that card to make it like crystal clear what's going on. So that's what is going on. Okay. They're saying this is a powerful move on your part, though. This is going to get you far. Okay. This is what I get. But you're still, you're just, this is, uh, yeah, you're just like, ah, uh, you know, like you're really... You feel threatened. The seven of wands, the seven of acorns, it's a, it's a threaten. You know, it's, it's an unbalancing right now. You feel unbalanced because of this heart chakra opening to that inner child again. Okay, that inner child, that inner child, it always needs some help. Okay, but now we're working on the heart, you guys. We were working on the root. Now we're working on the heart. Okay. So for some of you, this is important. You really need to go in there and fix that stuff, okay? Let it all out. Have some fun. Take a break when you need to, okay? Let's see what else is coming through here. breaking away from old tradition old belief system getting knowledge okay guidance divine advice okay look for guidance that's that three of pentacles there that came in this morning look for guidance you're going to be learning a new a lot of new things okay which in turn is going to make you a teacher it's like a teacher and a student all at once and be very flexible to learning these things, okay? The more you're open and the more you're flexible to learning, the better teacher you're going to become as well. 
but this is definitely uh, opening up and letting go of stuff, okay, for me. This usually is a card of letting go of belief systems, so really let go. Okay, let go of that crap. Don't listen to the rhythm, the falling rain. Telling me just what a fool I've been. I wish that it would go and let me cry in vain. And let me be alone again. They don't want you to be alone. They want you to see clearly now because the rain is gone. All of the obstacles are going to get out of your way. That's the other song. All of the dark clouds have passed me by. It's going to be a bright, bright sunshiny day right after the clouds come the sun so just remember that it's one but it's going to bring in the other really gangbusters okay like really strong when it comes in okay if there were no clouds how would you be grateful for the sun if that's all you ever saw every day just be used to it. Uh -huh. And look at what happened again. Remember this morning? These two came out. Look at that. I know wands. <sighs> Perseverance, that nine of wands. Persevering. This is a brand new journey for you. A journey of the heart. Okay? But it's going to get you where you need to go. Okay? Spirit, Spirit promises, all this work that you're doing is only good for you. It's going to open up your eyes. It's going to heal you of old wounds. It's going to get you where you need to go. You're going to let that inner child in. You're going to love that inner child. You're going to take care of that inner child, okay? You're going to release that pain. So just remember that, okay, you guys? I'm getting quite emotional here. Oof. It's going to bring in the grace is what I'm hearing. It's going to bring grace in for you. You're going to feel grace. Okay. Yeah. It's telling you just to adapt. Ad try to adapt to the situation, okay? Juggle. Juggle it around, okay? Things... Yeah, and it's dealing with things with ease and grace. Here we go, okay? So, uh, just, just hang in there, okay? You have to hang in there. That's all you've got to do, okay? In the next week or so, whatever happens, you've got to just kind of hang in there. There's the Nine of Cups, okay? The hearts are coming out, okay? You're opening up your heart. This is individual. The nine is the individual blessings and happiness coming through. Always, 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 always. And then you're going to be able, you have the two be able to plan your next um, your next progress your next whatever you're going into okay this is just getting you ready for this is glimpsing the bigger picture this is getting you into a new direction okay you're laying in the land for preparation here okay you're filling yourself with your creative force, okay? You're getting yourself prepared to get the world at your command. All of these things that you do, they always get you to that place. Always. Always. It's always to get you further into the next step of your life, Pisces. Every day. In every way. I feel very poetic. I have music in my head. Some of it's sad. Some of it uplifting. It's quite the, it's quite the contrast 
today. <laughs> I feel quite the contrast. Ah, oh, there you are, Pisces, the beautiful page of cups, okay? The beautiful dreamer. The love letters of the cards, you know? You are a love letter. You are tender. You are a gentle soul. And you know your heart is the keyhole. It's the key to letting in more abilities, more messages. We vibrate highest when we vibrate to, through the heart. Okay, remember that. When your heart is vibrating, okay, that is the portal that, to, uh, to a lot of new things, spiritually and everywhere. Okay, you may not think it. A lot of us have been stung by love or what we see as human love. And it's, it's really closed us off. And the thing about it is, is then when we stop closing ourselves off, when we reach out and let, you know, when we let love in, yes, there's a chance for pain, but there's also a great chance for a lot more than you realize. Okay? The great big love here, right here, that I'm seeing for this card, this is great big love. It's more than human love. It's great big love. And what's at the heart of us, Pisces? We're water. We're emotions. Okay? It's, it's very important that we keep that. Not just protected, but also open. Okay? Right. We are who we are. This is about being who we are, Pisces. Okay? Spirit is saying they're just returning us to who we are. The moon is a Pisces card. The page of cups is a Pisces card. This is returning us to our true nature. To what our spirits are supposed to be doing. Okay? We're supposed to be crying freely and happily and in tears, sometimes of sadness. We're supposed to feel things. We are. We are the heart of the world. And we need to be, we need to remain that way. Because that's our connection to spirit. That's our connection to the world. That's how we show we care. Okay? I know it's scary. I know some of you are going to comment, I've tried, or I, I did, or I know I'm an older Pisces. I, I have a hard time with it too. But I'm trying again. Okay? This is a union. This is a union of you and your inner journey. The Two of Cups. This is the harmony. You need to create, you need to do this work to go back in harmony with who you are. It's as simple as that. Okay? It's like going back in perfect balance with yourself. Okay? This heart chakra work, that's why they're downloading so much and so intensely today about this. Because this is who you are, Pisces. Okay? This is going to be such a big step. I'm, I'm getting from them that this is such a big step in your spiritual evolution. You have no clue. Okay? We've been, for some things, we've been doing little baby steps. But this one's the heart. This one's going to be hard for some of you. And the reason it's going to be hard to reopen the heart chakra is because when you do, it's going to spell a big change, a big shift. I was going to say shift change together, shift, shift change. <laughs> a big shift, a big change, okay? I'm going to try something here. I haven't used these cards in a while, but these are message from spirit postcards. I, I just pulled to them. I don't use them very much. Let's see here what we can see. I'm actually going to 
just mix them up and see what kind of pops up to me here. So this one fell out and it's You Are Divine Beauty. Dearest you, we have a secret to share with you. If you act as if all is well, it will be. Act as if you are brave and you will have courage. Act as if you are loved and you will be a magnet for love and experience the love of spirit. Nice. Act as if your prayers have been answered, as if you are truly in sync with good fortune. How you think is how you will see the world. Interact with it and draw conclusions from it. If you want to be the person who has the life you want, co-creating and loving what is yours, you need to start acting as if that were truth. Don't worry about the conditions in your life that seem empty or cavernous, chaotic or barren. These are temporary. There you go. And don't even count. Defy them and act as if you're the luckiest person on the planet. You will be, for you already are. That's the real secret. You are infinite potential. Loving you so much, rainbows explode in the ether. Oh, I was talking about rain, and now they're talking about rainbows for you. They have rainbows waiting for you, Pisces. Wow! Okay, this was an infinitely uh, powerful reading. Beautiful. Uh, I'm going to leave you with this, Pisces. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for listening. Um, I hope you've gotten a lot out of this, okay? I hope that your heart can feel a little better sore. Remember, take good care of yourself, okay? I'm sending you lots of love, extra love, extra love, extra light, okay? So that your, your clouds get chased away and your heart opens up. And blessings to you. Please take care of yourself. Stay safe. And I will see you in tomorrow's reading. Take care.